want to brag, but I finally got this rustic living thing wired. If I can't go to Cool Citron Cafe in Malibu for brunch, I'll just bring it to me. I used all the money I earned last week to have them ship me my favorite poached salmon with mango salsa. So just like Cool Citron, only without the cute Italian waiters. Maybe I could dress Eli in one of those gorgeous tuxes and teach him to say, Buongiorno, cara mia, tu et molto bella. Still haven't gotten the knack of pancakes. Okay, bad idea. The important thing is, I've got my Swiss mineral water, I've got my lime wedges, I've got my muffins. Gus! And I've got a horse ruining everything. This girl Darcy loves to have fun. She was feeling fine and having no good time. Hanging out on the scene, mom on a big screen. But she moved her way, she's stacking hay. The nearest town is 12 hours away. Cows are mooing and many roosters growing. It's not the same, it's not a game. She said goodbye to glamour and fame. She used to love to hang out and go dancing. Go to parties and make important plans. And now she's got to go clean out the stables. Darcy's wildlife is about to turn the tables. Hey, girl. Fun. Yeah, say goodbye to life on the run. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Welcome to normal child life. What you see is what you get in Darcy's wildlife. Uh -huh. Discovery Yo. Darcy's wildlife is back on Discovery Kids on NBC. I brought ten dollars. I need new shoes. I shredded my shoes climbing a tree to rescue a kitten. So I need new shoes. No, you don't. You want to buy an MP3 player. Can I borrow ten dollars? I need new shoes. I shredded my shoes climbing a tree to rescue a kitten. So I need new shoes. Oh, but the touching story. I'd love to help. Oh, shoot. I forgot my purse. Can I borrow ten dollars? I need. Hey, who am I kidding? Morning, ladies. Nice day. Uh huh. I swear, everybody, if you saw this guy, you would totally understand Madonna's bizarre Western face. I'm in the market for a new halter. Somebody told me this is the place. Oh, it is. Only. I'm not sure a halter is the best look for you. I mean, the shirt, those jeans, that's working. That's really working. I think he means a halter for his horse. Of course he does. I know he does. <laughs> Why would he want a halter top when halter tops are for girls and he's obviously not a girl. Stop me talking, I'm drowning. <laughs> oh, but in a very amusing way. Horse tax against that wall. So, you in town for the Bailey Roundup? Oh, you bet. I guess you could say I got rodeo in my blood. Rodeo? Oh, you mean rodeo. A lot of people make that mistake. I love it too. The shops, the boutiques, that great little patisserie with the raspberry tarts. I think my friend means rodeo drive in Beverly Hills. He means the other kind of rodeo. Rodeo. I love it too. Really? Well, you riding this weekend? Should be a whole lot of fun. Actually, uh, she's not. Of course I'm riding this weekend. What events are you in? All of them? Wow. What's your best one? Uh, Lindsay, what's my best event? I don't know, but I can't wait to find out. Me neither. I can't wait to see you ride. I'm Zach, by the way. I'm Darcy. Darcy. Well, I'll see you on Saturday, Darcy. He called me Darcy. You just volunteered to ride in every event in a rodeo. That's barrel racing, goat tying, bareback bronc riding. We're okay. Jeez, Gus, I didn't know your saddle was so heavy. Any seat that's this much trouble should come with a sports car wrapped around it. I'm not 
sure you're a very good horse, Gus. I know you're just a common barn owl, but right now, you are gonna be a different kind of owl. One I just made up. Hey, Miss Fields, what you doing? I'm cooking up some slop for the pigs. But I'm not sure what goes in pig slop. Are you wary of an owl on your arm? Yeah, there's hardly any of them left. Owls? Well, I thought they were quite common. This is a, um, a West Slope Rocky Mountain pea owl. Pea owl? Should I get some paper for the floor? P-E-A, it eats wild peas, but wild peas are dying out, so the pea owls are disappearing faster than my uncle's hair. That's terrible. Not really. Just wears a hat. No, I meant about the owls. Oh, yeah. Tell me about it. That's why I thought you'd want to help save them. Of course. Anything I can do. Great. The Bailey Round of Rodeo was this weekend. I figure we get a boot there. Oh, and what would I do? Just stand there. Uh-huh. And kiss people. You know, kiss a movie star, $5. All the money goes to the P. Owl Foundation. What if I just took a picture with people? That way, the owls get their money, and I'm less likely to catch something. Um, that's great, too. Isn't that great? Bless you. This is indeed my lucky day. Yep, she bought it. You are my ticket to the MP3. Oh, and I'll just need the literature on the P. Owl Foundation. Lady said what? I'll need the literature on the P. Owl Foundation so that I can be informed and talk with people about the course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. I'll get right on that. It's pretty cool that you're entering the rodeo. I'm glad you're getting interested in horses. Well, I'm kind of embarrassed to admit it, but I'm actually doing it to impress a cute guy. Really? Is it me? Um, no. Oh. This is kind of awkward. Yeah. Here, let's try this. Eli, glad I ran into you. You think you could teach me to ride? Sure. I've done a little rodeo myself. Great. So the first thing I do is get up on him? No. First thing is you get to know him a bit. I mean, Gus is eight years old, 15 hands high. You should bond with him a bit, talk to him, and, and pat him on the nose. There's stuff coming out of it. What do I say to him? Talk to him like he's your friend. Okay. Did you go to that incredible sale of Barney's? I got two Versace dresses and a handbag. Like that? Yeah. Now let's get you in the saddle. Left foot in the stirrup. How do I make him go? Hold the reins in your left hand. Give him a little kick in the side. <laughs> it doesn't work. It's kind of useless. Try making some noise. Go. How does it go? <laughs> oh, giddy up. That works too. a discount banana, but I did it. I rode Gus all the way around the riding ring. Wow. Do you know exactly what they do in rodeos? Not really. <laughs> this is what they do in rodeos. I am so dead. on NBC is back. Oh my gosh. What am I going to do? Mm, it's obvious what you're going to do. You're going to get thrown off a horse, trampled underfoot, and um, maybe the last time you eat with your own teeth. Oh, hey, Darcy. Nice to see you. 
seriously, Lindsay. How am I supposed to get out of this? I mean, taking into account that Zach is way cute, so he can't know that I don't rodeo. Uh, why don't you just do what the people in Hollywood do? You mean lie? That's a great idea. But I can't lie to Zach. He's got such an honest cowboy soul. I'll just make up a story that isn't true. Good. Much better. Whooping cough. I've got whooping cough. Hey, Dars. Lindsay. Hey, Zach. <coughs> oh, that's right. Get it all out. Gets yeah, real dust around here, doesn't it? I suck on mints. Kind of helps. <laughs> Thanks, but I don't think it's going to help. Just give it a little time. Here, take a look at this. That's me. Yeah, they're going all up over town. Looks like the first time the rodeo is going to sell out. People are mighty excited to see a movie star's daughter who can rodeo. <clears throat> Great. How's that cough doing? I think the mint's working already. Founded in um, 1977, the Piano Foundation's board of directors has included um, former Vice President Al Gore, um, astronaut Buzz Aldrin, and the one guy who plays the plumber in the commercial with the toilet. You two can help save the magnificent pea owl. Giving money and giving now will help to save the great pea owl. I'd say that sounds real. Okay, buddy, just need a picture of you to scan it in and the brochure will be done. Say MP3! My, my, oh, the guy from the toilet commercial. I have to say, Jack, I am quite impressed by the Piao Foundation. You can count on my help. <laughs> Great. Do you have any ice cream? Uh, in the freezer, I have Rocky Road, strawberry, and raspberry ripple. Help yourself. <sighs> oh, baby, that's the stuff. Crisis mode, everybody. I cannot get out of this rodeo. Thanks for the helpful emails, but it turns out that Munchkin Land doesn't actually exist. So I can't go hide there. Hey, Darcy, check this out. Can you guess what I've got? Two twigs. That's what it looks like. See, one of them's a twig, but the other one's a bug called a walking stick. It's evolved to look like a twig. <sighs> Nature. Clever. Wow. Which is which? This is the bug. Wait, this is a twig. These are both twigs. What happened to the stick bug? Is that it in your hair? Get it off me. Get it off me. The stick bug's okay. Everybody, I think the answer to my problem might be crawling down Eli's shirt. What do you think? Well, if I were Eli, I wouldn't play too hard to get. Are you sure this is going to work? It has to. Just remember to walk like me. I'll see you in the ring. <laughs> you have to admit, things have gotten more interesting since I moved to town. <laughs> hey, Darcy. Quick, in here. It's the ladies' room. It's OK. Go. Hey, Darcy, wait up. Hi, Zach. Just straightening my hat. Always like to look my best on a bucking bronco. <laughs> we well, look great. I'll see you at the shoot. Great. Hey, what are you doing here? This is Ow. the ladies' room. Ow. Get out of here. Hey, go on. Go. Hey, hey, come on. It's just going to get you. Just go on. Come on. Yep. Please, please. Go. Way more interesting. <laughs> Say cheese. One, two, three. And beauty. Great picture. That'll be an extra five bucks for touching the star. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big Bailey welcome for the queen of our rodeo, Miss Darcy Fields. <laughs> Good 
Good drive. Yeah. Sure. Eli, I promise those pants do not make your hips look big. <laughs> he's riding Gus? Why wouldn't he? Because he's Gus. He doesn't really do anything. He has very pretty eyes, but as a horse, he's a total washout. He'll be fine. I just don't want this whole thing ruined because of Gus. Mm, that'd be a shame, because every other way is such a good plan. Well, try not to screw up Gus. Now for the goat roping event on board Gus. Darcy Fields. That's Gus? He's amazing. Of course he is. He just needs a ride and can work with him. So I guess Gus wasn't really the problem. Uh, don't you have some place you need to be? Oh my gosh. Gentlemen, we have a scratch in the last goat roping event, so we're moving straight to barrel racing. First up, still on Gus, Darcy Fields. Hey, Gus. Sorry I dissed you. You're the one who knows what he's doing, not me. Yeah, you have every right to say I told you so. So I promise I'll try and get to know you better and treat you like the great horse you really are. Okay, let's try and get through this together. person I'd like you to meet. It's a very, very, very great pleasure, young Jack. Oh, you want a picture? Let's see a green Lincoln. No, Jack, this isn't a customer. This is Winthrop Carlyle, the chairman of the Piaul Foundation. He's what? Jack, the Piaul Foundation couldn't be more grateful. But <laughs> it's not real. Oh, no, no, darling. It's a very real effort you've made. The pea owls are in your debt. But, but, but. Thanks, Cherry. Yet again, another wonderful performance. Always a pleasure, Victoria. <laughs> you know, the one of the few things I miss about Hollywood is acting with you. Well, I'm always happy to come do a supporting role. Um, Cherry, the money? Oh. You're really giving it to charity? Absolutely. I've contacted the Mexican Spotted Owl Society. It's a real owl and it's really endangered. I'm sure Jack will be most gratified. <laughs> Money gone. Jack, no MP3. Hey, Darcy. That was, uh, interesting. <gasps> Thanks. I'm usually better in the turns. I don't know what happened. Well, as long as you're okay. Zach, I do know what happened. I lied to you. I'm not a rodeo rider. My friend Eli's been standing in for me. Well, duh. You mean you knew? You don't think I can tell the difference between you and a dude in a wig? The guy's got hands bigger than me. He's got an Adam's apple, for crying out loud. I'm sorry I did all this. I just wanted you to like me. I'm sorry. 
but this is all just a little too weird for me. I mean, you're cute and all, but I think if we went out, I'd just keep seeing that dude in the wig in my head and... But hey, maybe I'll see you next year. Didn't work out, huh? I guess you can't really build a relationship on lies. You think? Oh, well, cute guys are gonna come and go, but Gus, I think I'll be friends with Gus for a while. I'll buy that. Then I'll buy you some popcorn. Finally, you have a good idea. Yeah, I think I really learned my lesson. I should have had you stand in for me. You're a girl, you're not an Adam's apple. Mm. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Endurance Hawaii on Discovery Kids on NBC, Monroe, Damien, and Tom almost had a perfect plan, except for one flaw. Nicole. And when she reveals her little secret... Oh, gee, you'd be mad. One team will suffer the consequence. Orange team is done. Next time on Endurance Hawaii on Discovery Kids on NBC.